Yo, what up? This is Josie, you're watching Arctic View, and welcome to my first week uh, vlog thingy. Uh, but uh, let's get started. I have some uh, short clips that I uh, taped, that I took. And uh, then uh, at the end of this, uh, there's the room tour part, although you can see most of it uh, uh, already, but uh, let's get started. Uh, I arrived here on the 5th of April and it was pretty late, so after 24 hours of uh, traveling, I just fell asleep. The next day was uh, just classes from uh, morning until evening. And that's pretty much uh, how the week went. Uh, we had our classes from our home, home uh, room uh, uh, by uh, Zoom. And uh, we had several different topics, including uh, getting to know each other, but then uh, getting started on uh, the media literacy course that I'm taking part of. We had a technology lesson where I made this virtual classroom. Uh, then we had a general academic uh, lecture or course uh, where we have to do uh, lesson planning uh, and uh, study the theory and things like that. Uh, then we have the overall project that we're going to uh, make uh, or put together during uh, these uh, six weeks here, uh, which is pretty intense. And uh, then we had, what else did we have? We had a cultural orientation about uh, American culture and then about our own culture. So we got to know each other uh, quite a bit. And uh, let me see uh, if I can insert the clip about uh, the uh, poster of our life that we had to do. Uh, we couldn't uh, go out uh, to eat. Uh, which is why we got our uh, meals delivered uh, by room service behind our door. We ate it and then we uh, put it back there for them to clean it up. And I think this is the first culture shock that we all had because, uh, uh, first of all, the uh, breakfast is uh, very sweet here. We do have a sweet breakfast in uh, Estonia, uh, like pancakes uh, or maybe some uh, jam with the porridge, but here it was very much syrupy things, uh, there was just so much food. Very fast, a lot of the uh, people in our group started uh, telling that maybe we might get something else for breakfast and uh, our program uh, manager uh, talked to the uh, cooks uh, and uh, we started getting a bit more uh, vegetables and fruit with our food because it was all very carb and protein uh, based and there was uh, not that many things that were uh, easier to digest like greens and stuff like that. After a um, couple of days of that food I had made a door dash uh, on my phone that we got here uh, to use during our course that has uh, the US number and uh, I put DoorDash on it and then I ordered myself uh, strawberries, pineapple, uh, raspberries and uh, blueberries uh, and then a bunch of water because the tap water is not so good here uh, and oh and I <laughs> like six or eight grapes uh, <laughs> that, that was not the intention I thought I would just get like uh, four uh, red grapefruits, uh, grapefruits, not grapes. <laughs> and uh, I've been eating those uh, grapefruits for about a week and a half now because uh, uh, there were so many of them, but they are very, very good. Uh, and the other thing that we could do was uh, order in. Uh, so we could uh, go on DoorDash and order from uh, Wendy's or uh, whatever places that were close to here that we could like kind of get uh, something else uh, to break the monotony. Now on uh, 
Friday or Thursday, uh, we got tested and found out the school uh, we're going to have uh, our practice teaching in. So uh, here's a clip of that. Good morning. Uh, it's uh, the morning of uh, Thursday. Uh, I just uh, came back from getting my rapid COVID test uh, done. It came back negative. Uh, but we still have to quarantine uh, and we I think we will get out on Sunday and we're going uh, for a hike oh. uh, but uh, after that uh, from Monday I think uh, we will have some in-person um, uh, meetings I just got my uh, phone and uh, charger for uh, this uh, stay here so uh, if we want to contact colleagues or use DoorDash or order something uh, we can do it with uh, that phone uh, because it has an American number and uh, also uh, what else uh, we got our schools so I'll be teaching uh, some of the classes in Streetsboro uh, School uh, and I got really lucky because uh, they have uh, in-person teaching. Uh, some of my uh, colleagues uh, got uh, only virtual classes and then there's one school which is virtual and in-person like a mix of two. Uh, but I got in person, so uh, I'm very excited about that. It's been uh, really busy. Uh, I will do the uh, room tour when I have more time, maybe on uh, Saturday. Uh, but so far, yeah, a <laughs> lot of uh, Zoom calls, a lot of um, uh, tasks to be done. This was my check-in. Uh, see you soon. So that was the good news, uh, and uh, I'm very excited about uh, doing the in-person uh, teaching. And the school looks really good as well. But that's uh, something for another video. And now, last of all, although this uh, first week was very intense, we also had lessons uh, on uh, Saturdays and. Uh, activities on Sundays um, as well uh, and uh, all of the regular days started around uh, 9 and ended at 6 and we also had working lunches and working dinners which meant that we had to be on Zoom, we didn't have to have our cameras on, we could eat but we still were uh, supposed to listen to uh, other people and what was going on. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that was quite a bit. Uh, but uh, the uh, best thing uh, was, in addition to getting to know all these people, we'll, we'll be sharing our uh, experience here uh, with and all the new knowledge we gained from uh, these classes. Uh, the most fun thing was that we had um, a gay Manchuria night uh, on uh, Friday. And there were so many cool games that were online based and I'm definitely going to buy them because this is one of the things I miss so much about uh, uh, just uh, uh, my life <laughs> in Estonia before COVID of having these uh, board game nights with uh, friends when they come over and we play a bunch of games. Uh, this is why I really liked uh, our board game night and I did take some weird clips uh, but you can see how we played it right here. Use your devices to type in what you think the real title for this picture could have been, which everyone else typed in. Okay, and uh, I think this is uh, the last leg of my... Uh, uh, video today it's uh, going to be a room tour I uh, think it's very boring uh, the rooms are very spacious uh, which is nice uh, the bed is so good it's so soft it's uh, huge I love it uh, and uh, other than that yes now we get to go outside but it's still nice to return to our rooms but anyway uh, here's the video of uh, my small room tour and welcome to my amazing book, to book tour room tour 
So I am here and let's start with the bathroom. Right, right, nice, nice. So let's see what we have here. A big mirror, hello. Uh, then some cups. These are my masks, just drying. Uh, we got uh, shampoo, conditioner, body milk, soap, makeup, removing wipes, that's nice. Uh, towels, towels, let's see. Uh, this is a corner of shame, I call it, uh, where the toilet is. I don't know why they want to hide it. And then, let's close this down. That is a hair dryer. And then there's a really big... Oh, and this is pure evil because if you want to turn it on, you have to uh, go all the way from here. So you start with this, which means you'll get like tons of uh, cold water uh, before you get to the warm water. So I don't like that. But other than that, this is nice and spacious. This is very artsy. So yes, a big bathroom with a corner of shame. So yes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Then we have a big room right here that doesn't have anything other than the mirror uh, this is my luggage obviously and now this is the room the room is pretty big so that's the bed here is my wardrobe so my raincoat and my bag and accessories then my shoes my water my bags and I haven't used it yet, but there's uh, an iron. So if I need to iron something, there's an ironing board. Very fancy. Right. And uh, then this is the station of food. Uh, this is uh, uh, the coffee machine. Uh, we have some regular coffee, decaf co coffee, some tea, some sauce, just some food I haven't used yet. This is my pita bread. These are my grapefruits. And then we have a fridge. Da -da -da -da. Lots of energy drinks, uh, some blueberries there, cheese, nothing interesting. This is just cutlery, there's some cutlery, there's obviously a microwave, this is a bowl I use for making my ramen noodles. Then a nice big TV, have goodie bags, let's, do you want to see inside? So this is accessories and uh, like wires and stuff, my makeup things, masks, not really interesting. These are all my, ugh. these are my clothes. And down here uh, is food, which is uh, starting to run out. Here's some coffee. There are my last noodles. And yes, I've been uh, gifting people Estonian candy. So this is running out. And what else do I want to do? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> under here is my Chromebook uh, that I got uh, for using here but I don't like it I'm using my own so yep so this is my workstation amazing uh, there's another mirror so many mirrors here uh, these are all my documents power bank my laptop obviously notebook this is the thing I drew that we had to do about our life and then there's obviously window, uh, reading nook, and yeah, bed. Uh, if I look outside, I'm on the third floor. I can see, basically that is the bus station and some parking on top of that. Again, nothing interesting. Let's in the light. And yes. So yes, that's it. 
you have arrived at the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a like. Uh, if uh, you want to keep up with what I'm doing here, uh, do press uh, subscribe because we're going to uh, start going outside uh, more and exploring just uh, Kent and uh, Ohio in general. But this was it from me. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and bye-bye.